Today's August 22nd, 2022. We're doing a move out report for 1590 Sombrero Drive. Um, take a look at the exterior first. We do have a accumulated amount of trash that's been out here. I know I sent you a quote earlier, but this is a whole new level of trash now that we have, so we can't really honor that quote anymore. Here's your trees. Just so you know what condition, and they do need to be trimmed. Um, I know I'm gonna be giving you a lot of tasks inside the house, but one of the things that we want, also wanna focus on maybe the outside of the house too, because the main reason why we keep getting not so good tenants in here is because, well, this house has no real curb appeal. go inside here now the tenant said that they moved everything that they wanted in the garage however I cannot dispose of these items at this time there's a legal process I'll email it to you but as you can see clearly they've been smoking and animals the couch the Kitchen, dirty, might need a little bit of repairs. We know the sink is clogged right now. The refrigerator still has food in it, which we're gonna toss. So it's gonna need a very, very deep cleaning this house as well. Also, as you can see by the walls painting and the smell in here is very overwhelming of smoke and animal urine and animal poo. And We'll actually find some of that in a bit. This is the master bedroom. I'm guessing that's just dirt, not mold. And as you can see by these air conditioning vents, they have never, ever, ever cleaned the AC filters. So we're gonna have to clean the coils as well, which isn't that much, but there's another step we're gonna have to do. Shower doors, oh, well, we got a huge TV, okay. Um, shower doors have been removed from the now destroyed, wow, really destroyed um, shower. The shower will have to be completely redone. We have a, a tremendous amount of wall damage back here. And that's the prison toilet. Oh, and there's a hole. There's a giant gaping hole back here. I don't know why. Closet, another hole. And these holes looks like they're intentionally cut out to fix something. I don't know what it was. We're going into the converted garage. Uh, this is where they said they stored all of their stuff. Unfortunately, we cannot get to that back door to change the lock, which means we're going to have to drill that lock open. It's going to be a little bit additional expense as a result of it. Let's go to the backyard. Your handle here is broken. A lot of flies inside the house, and you're going to see why there's lots of flies soon. Um, we have bar stools, grill. There's a scattering of automotive stuff as well. I saw a battery in front and a tire in back, and those need to be specially disposed of. Looks like we got a moped. Lots of dog poop. Lots and lots of dog food. This is like a whole field of it. And then there's this, I don't know. I think that was a bedding from a dog bed at one point. 
They seem to have been scattered everywhere. The exterior of the house, really nothing structurally wrong with the house on the outside. We do have, and this is a strange line, I don't know if that's from. All right, going on the west side of the house, um, where we have the two bedrooms and the bathroom. There is dog poo inside the house as well, unfortunately. And that smell here is way too strong. I can't really go inside, unfortunately. Um, bathroom is here. This looks like this was a litter box at one point. And this shower also has showing damage, wall damage as well too. The tiles are popping out. I'm gonna recommend both showers be completely done. And this bedroom is also full of poop. Poop and stars. And that chihuahua dog. And that's it.